works fine. Okay, the bolt is still open because the Mac was empty. Now you can just take the charging handle, put it back, and it will slide back forward again. So. Again, stays open, then empty. And again, you can just put it back a little bit and to slide forward. This is a more heavy spring. <laughs> uh, it cycles shorter, so I need uh, to use a different bolt. And it may be a contender, but with this normal bolt, it will not work. The first <laughs> so this is spring 2, normal bolt, with 3 washers inside, so to make the spring a little bit more uh, tight, let's see. Lockup works fine, every time now. Normal bolt, spring 2. Six washers inside. Let's see what happens. So this is how six washers looks. Okay, this is the short bolt that's inside now. The idea of the short bolt is that it simulates the same amount of travel as an original uh, airsoft Glock slide will do. So. We will see, uh, there was an attempt back in the beginning when the nozzle was not right to make it uh, lock it on the sear more reliable. Um, later I abandoned that concept, but then later when it was all working right, I was kind of curious like, let's try out the three models that I kind of made in the beginning and see how the fire rate will different, uh, differ from the different bolts. Uh, maybe you can get some different spring and bolt combination to get a different fire rate, FPS, things like that. So that's why I reintroduce it and kind of experiment, experimenting with it right now to kind of see what's happening, what will happen. So uh, let's give this one a try. Because, the, because this one has a sl less travel. Uh, do I increase the spring tension? So I will start out the spring tree. This is a, one, a more stiffer spring, so it have to compress less now than compared with the first bolt that we did, and it will also give it a right amount of power. Hopefully, at least to activate the fire spring with the right amount of power in the short amount of travel that it does. Uh, we will see how it works. It's for me the first time now to see this. Well, it looks good. I will now add some uh, card box to see how well it shoots. This it's softer than uh, the the first set that we did. It the uh, first bolt with spring two or one. Now it's empty. The disconnect really works well right now. It's really a uh, good design. <coughs> okay, let's go crazy right now and use spring, spring tree with a small spring in the back to see uh, if we increase the power a lot, what it will do. Good one, but uh, let's see. <laughs> it's so powerful I've broken my disconnect. <laughs> so let's give it one more try so I can hit the car box.
This is definitely a um, uh, winner, you could say. Uh, only thing is, it's kind of too rough on the disconnect. That's the downside to it. But man, it's, uh, it got quite some power. So uh, it's definitely, you can see it's fun to play around with the different uh, bolt setups and the springs. Um, for now, I leave this bolt alone. But if you want to really go from power setup, you can clearly see that you make the cycling shorter with a stiffer spring. Uh, at first, the momentum is of course stronger with the piston, so it got more power to push against a stronger spring. But then again, I, I will check later the fire rate. I think this one was a little bit slower, but I like the pace of it. But I think with the other one, with the lighter spring, it gets more momentum because it travels from the longer distance. Um, it's yeah, more easy on the disconnect, obviously. But at the same time also, uh, still works, you know, still works with the lighter spring. And um, it's maybe also kind of more gentle on your, uh, your nozzle, things like that. But uh, yeah, definitely fun. <laughs> Sure. I now want to compare the fire rate of let's say a uh, stock normal uh, HD uh, clock in uh, G18 uh, and see how fast it shoots compared with what I uh, have made. <laughs> the hot <hoist> film. <laughs> okay, keep in mind that the disconnect is still broken. Um, so I will kind of keep track of when it's empty. This is the medium cycle bolt. So it's in between with spring number three. Because the long uh, stroke bolt did not uh, make it with uh, spring number three but i think it was just not enough so i think the middle one will take it and that's probably a uh, good match together so let's see yeah looks like it i'm gonna test it with the card box i do have to say it gets really hard to find a spot to not, uh, where it's not been shot before, but yeah. Oh, nice. Let's see. For what I've uh, seen, uh, it looks like it's a viable uh, spring setup. So, let's make dump this. <laughs> oh, safety. I forgot about that. <laughs> That's all happen when you don't have a disconnect, so that's why the disconnect is really important. But I think I will leave it with this. Um, this is a nice spring for this bolt. I do, I've not really, I don't think it's wise to put a stronger one inside. Because that's too hard on the system. This is a nice uh, balance. The other one. Then your disconnect will break, so that's not a good uh, setup to use. Then, uh, then you would have to make modify the, the upper as well. And make it so that the disconnect can be bigger and stronger. Otherwise it doesn't make any sense to, uh, to use a stronger spring setup. And at the same time, this is already a nice fire rate, uh, playable FPS. If I compare this one with uh, what uh, the Glock uh, model did, it's the same amount. So there are a few options out there that kind of works in this setup. And there's always that uh, thing that you can kind of fine tune it with some washers uh, beneath, uh, behind the spring to kind of increase it pressure a little bit if you like kind of see if you like the cycle rate more in that way 
But uh, yeah, I'm for myself really curious to see how the fire rates are right now. So uh, yeah. See you guys next time. And I hope it was kind of fun to see and also helpful of course when you are deciding what kind of spin you want to use and uh, the bolt 